Hey folks, this is your host Mandeep and uh, today I'm going to do a really short uh, tutorial and show you how to find stocks that have uh, high short interest. But before we get into it, I just want to make sure you guys understand that just because a stock has uh, a high short interest doesn't mean it's going to move. Obviously, uh, we are in um, a current market situation where a lot of these uh, short interest stocks have uh, have moved a lot. Uh, so by no means uh, this is a, a setup uh, to go long, but this is just a method to identify which stocks have high short interest. And clearly when there's a catalyst associated with it, these stocks tend to move uh, fairly rapidly. Now in order to do it, um, now we're not going to be using uh, think or swim because at least I have uh, found no way of um, identifying stocks with high short interest in uh, the think or swim platform. So we're going to um, use another site. It's a free source called finvis.com. Obviously, I'm, I'm using a free version. There's also a paid version uh, of this, which offers you uh, a lot more granularity. So what you would do is you would log into the site, create an account for yourself and go into the screener. Right. So what I have done is I have created already, I have a preset which is called large uh, short interest and I'll show you what the criteria is. So I'm going to modify the criteria here and we're going to use any and we'll say average volume to be at least over 1 million. And uh, the short float is over 30%, right? So that's pretty much the criteria so uh, that you can use for this. So again, because we're using a free version, we get these ads, but uh, if you use it sporadically, you can live with it. But uh, you know, if you're gonna use it all the time, then you can think of uh, you know, subscribing to it, but I have no subscription to this. So now what you do is you go into the ownership here, and one of the things you can do is um, go into the short float uh, uh, column, and you can sort it here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to sh um, sort it by the highest to the lowest and, uh, you know, lo and behold, and not surprisingly, we see uh, GameStop um, as number one. And uh, so again, it says the short float is, uh, you know, 121%. Uh, so it's greater than the total number of outstanding shares. And this, um, per my understanding, and I don't know this uh, fully or I understand this fully, is there are some occasional circumstances when it goes beyond the number of outstanding shares and that's because the brokerage firms um, you know have the ability to create uh, these uh, <clears throat> uh, bogus uh, extra shares for uh, you know liquidity in the market but again don't uh, quote me on that because I don't understand this but under normal circumstances you wouldn't have that situation right you mostly will get you know, the, uh, the short float to be less than the total number of outstanding shares. So, but what do we see here? We see GameStop, uh, ATUS, Fubo, NKD, and these are the stocks that have been, you know, talked about quite a bit. And uh, it goes into two pages, so you can scroll through, um, you know, the other uh, pages and see. So again, some of these stocks like S uh, Stitch Fix and Big C, and some of these have also been moving mainly because, um, you know, because of this Wall Street, um, bets uh, um, you know uh, you know phenomena that is currently underway but again as i said and i'll reiterate this before i end this video this does not mean that you can shot these stocks willy-nilly right i mean you have to be uh, you know willing to wait for the right setup again i'm, I'm just going to go go through a, like a couple examples here on, on gamestop and I am also telling you right away, I did not participate in this trade, um, you know, at all. But this one got a nice signal at quite an um, opportune time, which was close to 28 bucks. And this trade, uh, if taken, is up about $285, right? Uh, let's look at AMC. And when the actual signal came, and this is on, on, on the day chart, right? So the actual signal came here and it's up um, $8 since the signal came. But, uh, and what I've done is I've taken the list of those uh, high short interest stocks and put them in a static list um, and I, you know, you know, end up day trading them um, when I see sort of the right opportunity, but I'm trading them on like much smaller time frames, like the 10 minute chart or, or the 15 minute chart. And these are quick in and out trades for me. I'm not like holding these uh, too long. Clearly, some of these stocks are good stocks, like, and you have to just identify which of these have good uh, long-term fundamentals, have a solid uh, um, 
balance sheet and then you know figure out a catalyst associated with it anyway that's uh, all i wanted to share with you and hopefully you find this helpful and you can create the scan uh, by yourself using finvis and you can create many other scans on that site i'll talk to you in the next video bye bye